his arms. And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. And Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, or of such is the kingdom of God. Dearly beloved, Gary and Susan, you have brought your daughter here desiring for her Christian baptism. This is a service of thanksgiving as we offer to God the gratitude of our hearts for the hope and happiness which comes into our lives through the presence of a child. It is a recognition that God is the giver of life and a testimony that all children belong to Him. This service is one of dedication and consecration, the dedication of your daughter to God and your own consecration to a new and higher faithfulness. From the very beginnings of the church, it has taught that the sacrament of baptism is a sign and seal of the covenant of grace, of union with Christ in his body, of cleansing of heart and soul, and of our promise to be God's forever. You do promise upon our heart <coughs> to perform those things needful, that the goodwill and the love of the Heavenly Father be not hidden from your daughter, but rather may be made evident, that she may grow in love and nurture and admonition of the Lord. Do you promise to instruct Riley in the Word of God, and by precept and example to bring her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, to teach her the principles of our Christian religion, and to pray with her and for her, do you as her parents so promise? Yes. And you who stand as God parents must strive diligently to hold up the hands of these parents in the fulfillment of their covenant, that their child be instructed in the Word of God, brought up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, strengthened to live in a godly manner all the days of her life, and kept in communion with the church. Do you as her parents so promise? Yes. And you who are the members of the Church of Jesus Christ, do you receive this child into your love and care? And do you promise, so far as it lies within you, to uphold and encourage these parents in the fulfillment of their covenant? Do you so promise? Yes. yes. We can hear it a little louder than that. Do you so promise? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, unto these parents and godparents, to the family and friends gathered here this day, the grace to perform that which they have promised before thee, and sanctify with thy Holy Spirit this child now to be baptized and committed in the Christian faith to thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Christian name is the first two names. So by what name is this child to be called? My name is Elizabeth. I have my name in the name of the Father and the Son. My mom and dad gave me two wonderful gifts. They gave me a belief in God and they gave me a happy childhood. A belief in God has carried me through a lot of things. You get to be my age, you go down into some pretty dark valleys with family and with members of the church. And always I've known that God has walked right there with me. And I've known too when things have been good. And I love that guy with the rumble seat and all. And I take off and I've known my mother and my father couldn't see what I was doing. But there was something inside me that told me God could. So I got as bad enough, but not as bad as I might have been if I hadn't believed that. So please, give her God as a guide in her life. The other thing is I had a happy childhood. My mom and dad were just wonderful. I grew up in a home where my mother would get so nervous if my dad was home late. And she would be worried so much in a snowstorm here in New England. And I can see her turn the light on in the window for my dad. He came out of Boston. And you know, in a bad snowstorm, it might be a half an hour late. My mother would be panicky. And then you'd hear the chains on the fenders of the car. And you'd know my father was home. And I just know my mother would have thought the cell phone was just right. Because then she would have known where my dad was. So growing up in that kind of a home when it snowed out, we lived on a city and, and there was a hill. And before the sand trucks came, we'd try to get to go out coast and we'd slide in with my mom and dad. And my mom was a very heavy woman and it was really fun to see her belly bumps on a sled. And she'd be the best sport. She'd roll off. We kids would laugh. One day here at the chapel, I had a kid ask me, Did you have an Atari, Mr. Boyle? You've got to be kidding me. You were lucky to have a radio when I was a kid. And I was one of seven children. But we'd go up to my mom and dad's bedroom on a Sunday night. We have popcorn and we listen to the great Bill Asleep of the Jack Benny show. This is way before television. And I can only tell you that it was such a wonderful time with my mom and dad and, and, and our family. So if you give her a happy childhood and you give her God, I think she has just a, a wonderful life in front of her. And all of you are responsible for that. I'll have people go out of the chapel and they'll say to me, 
how they didn't have a childhood like mine, because I speak often of it. And I will think to myself, how terrible that is. No child should not have a happy childhood. And whether mom and dad or things don't go quite right in the family, okay, there's all of you there, and you're all supposed to pick up in places where, if it isn't the way it should be, that you help out to see that it is. And so that's the whole part of our life, in my opinion. If you have God and a happy childhood, you got the best start in the whole world. So with that, I am Elizabeth. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Please relax, take pictures, and, and be with each other. And I'll put a certificate here, just don't forget that. <laughs> Everything is blurry. My flip video. This is your This is your Please relax and enjoy each other. So, so she to have you okay. You're welcome to take pictures. Yeah, go back. Okay. Take care. Uh, Thank you very much. I just figured she would want to take care Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Where's Beanie? I'm gonna get Beanie. There's Beanie. Alright, I can shut that off now. I'm gonna make sure I get everybody who's here. There's Ray. There's Jamie. Whoop. Another country heard from. Oh. Is it good? No, that wasn't good. Riley, sweetie pie. Do you see Bryson? He's not crying. Can I return this off? He's not crying. Oh, on the back button.